scene in Victory Lane presented by Napa. <laughs> As the liquids begin to fly, and what a scene it is in the middle of that old championship crowd. Tony Stewart just being a guy that has the best average means anybody's ever had in the chase. One point now, he beat Carl Edwards. That's Ryan Newman, Tony's teammate and employee, if you will, at Stewart Haas Racing. But not to forget Gene Haas, who, having fielded a NASCAR Sprint Cup team for several years, needed something to take it to the next level. He offered Tony Stewart a 50% partnership with <coughs> the team. Got a good deal. They're champions. Yeah. Rick Hendrick had a lot to do with making all of this happen, getting the two parties together, helping make everything work, assuring Tony that he would get a tremendous amount of support with his race team from Hendrick Motorsports. Look at that scene. So much fun. You heard these fans roar their approval. And everybody waiting. While Tony Stewart gathers his thoughts and gets ready to go. The most disappointed. The people who came up just short. Talking it over. Bob Osborne and Carl Edwards. You know, sometimes you just get beat. And that's all that these guys can say. If we gave it everything, Carl said he gave it everything. He has a driver, they had a great race car. The engine performed flawlessly. Just sometimes, somebody else is a little bit better. going toe-to-toe, head-to-head, the -to final laps, and you won it in the championship. What's the emotion right now? Oh, God, thank the Lord for this one, buddy. I'm a, man, I'm telling you, it's been a tough, tough summer and a tough fall for us, and you got to believe in something. And the man upstairs, and he held this rain off just long enough for get, us to get this job done. So uh, this is for spreading all these fans up here that stuck out all weekend here in Homestead. And, I don't care how long it rains, I'm gonna be up all night. This is, uh, oh my God, I, are you kidding me? For Office Depot, for Mobile One, Chevrolet, U.S. Army, Tornadoes, um, Quicken Loans, GoDaddy, you know, Ritz, uh, Oreos, Coca-Cola, just everybody that's a part of this Duras program. Mac Tools, we couldn't do it without you guys. Uh, it's just unbelievable, I mean, we, we said all week we just go out and win the race. We didn't have to worry about what he did, and that's what we did. And just uh, if this doesn't go down as one of the greatest championship battles in history, I don't know what will. Let's talk about tonight. In the first hundred laps, Tony, you had to go from back to front twice, three and four wide passes on the restarts as Jeff Gordon comes up to congratulate him, and then the gamble on fuel. How concerned were you that maybe there were just too many obstacles to overcome after all you were having to battle tonight? This team, there's one thing I learned when Gene Haas and Joe Custer gave us this opportunity and our good buddy Rick Hendrick, and I couldn't do it up without you, bud, and everybody at Hendrick Engines and Chassis, uh, that there's no quit here. And Darren Grubb, that man up there, and everybody on this team is just 
dug deep and never given up. And uh, this is a this is an awesome night. Eddie Jarvis, Prep Food, everybody at Stewart Haas Racing. I've got the best team in the business, and uh, it's just awesome. I, I'm so grateful to be able to do this for Gene Haas because this man's invested a lot in this sport, and uh, for him to have the, the faith in me to do this, just. Uh, uh, you know, it, it takes a lot to do what he's done, and uh, I'm glad I can get this done for him. Talk about people that have been a lot to the sport. That number 14 belonged to your hero and friend, A.J. Foyt. He said you can take the number but drive it with the tenacity of a Texan. Tonight, you won a championship the way he won him, up on that wheel, refusing to lose. What does it mean to you to take this number, his number, back to a championship state? I guarantee I'll probably talk to him tonight, and he's still going to tell me what I did wrong today, but uh, I'm so proud. I mean, A.J., always been one of my heroes and he's he's been very supportive of this when we did this and uh, you know when I when I asked him if it would be alright if I took his number he, he was the one that gave me his blessing and that meant the world to me. Carl Edwards, a class individual, what a battle, what a battle those final lines. What's going through your mind when you're seeing Carl back there knowing that he's just going to do everything he can and what a great effort he's had all year long to try to catch you and you had to win the race to win the championship. Uh, you know those guys have done an awesome job all year, and, and my buddy Ricky Stenhouse won the Nationwide Championship yesterday, and Jack got the, the Owners' Championship, so uh, I didn't feel bad taking this one away from him tonight, but, you know, he's a great competitor, he's a great guy, and we've been giving him a rough time this week, but uh, it was all in an effort to do what we did tonight here, and that's to win this championship, but, um, you know, it shows how classy a guy he is. He was the first one to me over there, and uh, he just said, promise me one thing, that you'll enjoy this, and he goes, I hope it's you and I in this position again next year, so... Uh, it just shows so much class. He's got, he's a great guy. Both of you showing so much class. And Tony, guess what? In just a moment, we're going to climb up on that stage. You're going to get a big trophy and even a bigger check as NASCAR's newest Sprint Cup champion. Alan? And they won't mind the rain drops one bit. Tony Stewart, three-time NASCAR Sprint Cup Series champion after winning the season's final race. The trophy presentation is next. So, you know, actually, you fit the car pretty well. I, I felt that he was quite cheeky, to be honest. Like, you're going you're gonna to break it. I'm telling you, I can fit. But, you know, I don't like to judge, no matter how much of a fool he makes himself look. Do you think he's capable of driving your car? Well, if we can get him sitting high enough in the seat, probably have to get him a kid's seat so he can see over the steering wheel. You look ridiculous in there. True champions trust the synthetic technology of Mobile One, the official motor oil of NASCAR. Many drivers want to win Mobile One. Congratulations to Tony Stewart on his third NASCAR Sprint Cup Championship. Call or log on to the NASCAR.com Superstore to get your official t-shirt, gap, or diecast. Act now and get all free for just $99.99. The NASCAR.com Superstore has all your official 2011 championship gear. Log on now to see the entire selection of championship and Tony Stewart products. Tony Stewart is the 2011 NASCAR Sprint Cup Champion. Call or go online to order now so you can own a piece of NASCAR history. Everyone have their new BlackBerry from AT&T? It's 4G, so you can do more faster. So, Catherine, post more YouTube videos of your baby acting adorable. Baby, on it. Matt, ignore me and keep updating your fantasy team. Huh? Jeff, uh, play a game. Trip up with C-NASA. Dennis, check in everywhere you go on Foursquare. That's Mayor Dennis of the water cooler. You're the best. Liz, rock out to Pandora. Oh, no, I'm an only child. Nick, you shouldn't even be here. You can do everything from the golf course. Good? Good. On AT&T, BlackBerry Torch moves at the speed of 4G. <laughs> Polar bear cub is born with no sense of sight. Help ensure they're born with a sense of home. To donate, look for white Coke cans and caps and join Coca-Cola and World Wildlife Fund in helping to create a safe refuge for the polar bear. In front of the pack, in the winter's circle, at the top of your game. You like being ahead. When it comes to transporting your prized cargo, Featherlight Innovation puts you ahead of the curve. Way ahead. Go! 
Tony Stewart steps high and wide to the outside lane. <coughs> the Stewart Haas racing breakaway at the front of the field. Tony Stewart opens the chase with his first win of the season. Tony Stewart is closing it down on Clint Boyer. He wins on Monday. He wins on Sunday. Stewart trying to get around Jimmy Johnson. He's gotten clear on four. <laughs> Tony Stewart wins at Martinsville. Race eight in the chase for the NASCAR Sprint Cup is just underway. Tony Stewart making this championship race interesting. When this chase started, he made his mind up he was going to win it, and I don't think anybody can stop him right now. What do you have to say to your competition this week? I don't think we have to say anything. I think our performance today spoke for itself, so uh, he knows where it is. Trust me. And then to the season finale, where Tony Stewart had to fall all the way back to 40th after some early damage. Every time he got to the lead, something happened that kicked him farther back. He was so aggressive on restarts, drove his way back to the front, and needed to win the race to win the championship. He did just that. Tony Stewart continuing a theme that's been sports in 2011 of teams just barely making the postseason and coming on strong and winning the championship. The Packers would be one, UConn would be another. Here Tony Stewart, the St. Louis Cardinals in baseball, and Tony Stewart on a tiebreaker. Most wins earns the NASCAR Spring Cup Championship for 2011. Yeah, once again, just amazing. Two great drivers, the best two teams out there, and it came down tied in the points. Uh, just amazing, the most amazing thing that I've ever seen. Jimmy Johnson winds up sixth, the lowest he's ever finished in the NASCAR Sprint Cup Championship in his career. And for Ryan Newman, he gets the final spot on stage at the series awards banquet in a couple of weeks in Las Vegas by finishing in 10th position. But it's all about Tony Stewart tonight. He and Carl Edwards waging a titanic fight for this championship over the final months of the season. And in this final race of the season, finishing one and two in the race with Stewart getting the win and the title. And for the official presentation of the NASCAR Spring Cup Series Championship Hardware, we go back to the stage and Dr. Jerry Bunch. Thank you very much, Alan, and as appropriate, eyes of motorsports fans all around the world are focused on the stage here at Homestead Miami Speedway. What an incredible performance in a battle of Tony Stewart and Carl Edwards. And now to make the presentation of the championship trophy, here is the president of NASCAR, Mike Elton. Hey, Tony's busy playing with somebody that understands him better than we do, but we'll get him over here in just a second. Okay, we'll get Tony over here giving Darian a hug and holding Darian's young son. And it, there, there's a bond here that uh, goes beyond crew chief and driver. The emotion, the gamble that Darian made to give Tony a chance to be able to hang on with fuel mileage and win the championship. And now Tony will hand him back. And now, Tony, here's a presentation of the championship program. Tony, on behalf of all of NASCAR, you know, congratulations in and out. What you and Carl did all through the chase, but what both of you did tonight, and the way you drove that race car tonight, all the way to the finish, to the winner's circle, to the 2011 championship. Congratulations, and we're going to be honored to celebrate with you out in Vegas here in a couple of weeks. Congratulations, buddy. the championship check, and it is a big one. Please welcome the Chief Financial Officer of Series Title Sponsor Sprint, Joe Utenauer. Joe? Tony, you've proven again why you're considered one of the top drivers in all the motorsports. We'd like to congratulate you on your third win of the NASCAR Sprint Motor Cup Speed Series, and congratulate you on your first win as an owner. And congratulations to the entire 14 team. And, to, and I'd like to present you, on behalf of Sprint and all of its 40,000 employees, this check for over $5.6 million. With this championship, you become only the ninth driver 
in seven decades of NASCAR racing to win three or more championships. That means you're the best of the best, my friend. I couldn't do it without this guy beside me, Gene Haas, and everyone at Haas Automation. They, uh, they've been a great group to work with from day one, and to uh, for this man to have the trust in me to do what we've done here and, and to do what we're going to do in the future, it's uh, it takes a lot of guts and, and determination, and this guy's got it, and uh, he's made this fun again. So uh, I'm just very appreciative of having him on board, and uh, we're not done yet. Gene, what does this mean to you? Well, I, now I'm, I'm in awe. This is an awesome day. That leaves you speechless, but I think Tony proved that he's the greatest driver in the world today. Gene Haas, co owner of Stewart Haas Racing, as Tony Stewart celebrates on the stage his third NASCAR Sprint Cup championship. And what a night here the NASCAR to bring down the curtain on a phenomenal effort. Carl Edwards and Tony Stewart down to the wire, and Stewart wins it all. Alan? What a scene. And believe Tony when he says the celebration is just beginning. Hard fought race tonight, hard fought championship win. Tony Stewart and his team, 2011 NASCAR Sprint Cup champions. Okay. Okay, okay, listen up. Make sure everybody's got a bud. There's a saying that time is a great storyteller. Well then, here's to the next chapter. So stand with me, brothers, and raise them high. Because as great as this is, there's even more out of us. And the only question is... Oh Here's to America's working hands. No, we mean America's real working hands. They broker deals with a firm shake. They do power lunches on a tailgate. And when they reach for a tool, it's Irwin Vice Grip. Like our groove lock pliers that adjust with the press of a button and never slip or pinch. So here's to the hands that keep America going strong. They may not be pretty, but they sure make us proud. Irwin Vice Grip, reach for greatness. My sister's new boyfriend told her that he thinks Sundays are just for watching football. Believe that? Remain calm. Answering incorrectly has... But I just... Consequences. But you're smart, right? You ordered off McDonald's dollar menu at breakfast, got the premium roast coffee, the savory sausage burrito, everything's so good and just a buck each. You made it happen, so you got this. He's a jerk. Well played. McDonald's dollar menu at breakfast, the simple joy of being smart. Max Brittles here at the Home Depot Center, where later today, the LA Galaxy at their own stadium facing the Houston Dynamo playing for the MLS Cup. Both franchises with two trophies historically. For the Galaxy, a huge disparity in salaries. The big names for LA featuring David Beckham, of course, Landon Donovan, and recently acquired Irishman Robbie Keane, right now to be one of the best goal scorers in the last 10 years from Europe. As for the Dynamo, they got some size, they have some athleticism, and they hope these players will be able to disrupt the Galaxy counterattacking offense. It all starts tonight, 9 Eastern time on ESPN, LA and Houston for the Cup. Tremendous championship finale tonight here at Homestead Miami Speedway, perhaps the greatest ever in the modern history of NASCAR, bringing back memories of November 15th, 1992, what many consider to be the greatest championship up to this point. Alan Kulwicki, Bill Elliott, and Davey Allison in a three-way fight for the title. Allison taken out in a late race wreck. That left Kulwicki and Elliott fighting for the race lead. Kulwicki led one more lap than Bill Elliott, then knew all he had to do was stalk Elliott to the finish. Elliott won the race. Kulwicki finished second and won the championship by the narrowest of margins. The man they called underdog. The last owner driver to win the NASCAR Spring Cup Series Championship. Tonight, if it didn't top it, gave it a close run or is equal to it because Tony Stewart tonight found a way to fight back and get to the front and win the race. And he needed to win the race to win the championship, but he won the title on a tiebreaker. And look at that list that Stewart joins. You know, Richard Petty went in being the other owner driver that won it, and then Alan Kowicki. That's a short list. Carl Edwards leading the most laps tonight, but finishing in second spot to Tony Stewart. 
And again, they tie at the end of the season for most points, with the tiebreaker being most wins, and Stewart claiming the championship, his third in the NASCAR Sprint Cup Series. Well, they finished first and second in the race tonight. It came down to the tiebreaker. Your thoughts on what you saw on this night here in South Florida? Uh, what I saw was the two best drivers of the year. And when, you got, like, when we came into this chase, I think that everybody certainly thought that Carl Edwards had a chance to win this championship. He did everything he needed to do. It seemed like the best average finish of, of anybody ever in the chase. That just wasn't enough to hold off a guy that came in without a win and then wins five of ten. That's just incredible to me. I've been doing this a long time, and I've never seen anybody with the kind of determination that I saw from Tony Stewart to win this championship. I mean, it started early in the chase, and it just carried on. The confidence, we heard it all week. We heard how much confidence he had. He knew he was going to do this. And as hard as it was to beat Carl Edwards, uh, I just can't believe how much determination and, and focus that it took, not just from Tony Stewart, but his whole team. Just don't think you could ask for any more than we saw from these drivers, particularly the last three, week, three weeks. Racing up front for wins and races and racing door to door for the championship. And in the end, it was Tony Stewart winning the race and winning the title on a terrific night here in South Florida that will go down as one of the very best ever fights in NASCAR Sprint Cup history. Smoke, a three-time champion. TomiAutoTrader.com had new cars. I love a new 2011. These are sweet. But what kind of deal can I get? Okay, just special offers. Now compare brand spanking new cars and special offers. That one. So you can find the one new car your head and heart can agree on. Whoa. AutoTrader.com, now the ultimate new car marketplace. People think because I spent all my weekends at the racetrack, my life is predictable. Actually, things are constantly changing. And whether I need to protect my ATV, my truck, a new home, cover my home away from home, having life insurance, or a growing business, with Nationwide Insurance, I can bundle them together and save. You can too, up to 25%. So call Nationwide Insurance today to bundle and save. Nationwide is on your side, call 866-555-555. Monday, the first place Patriots look to stay atop the AFC East. And Tom Brady leads his top right passing attack, featuring Wes Welker and Rob Gronkowski against the Chiefs. ESPN Monday Night Football, Chiefs Patriots at 8.30. This copyrighted telecast may not be reproduced, retransmitted, or used in any form without the authorized written consent of NASCAR Broadcasting. NASCAR would like to thank all of our loyal fans for your continued support, and we hope you enjoyed today's broadcast. Uh, the celebration continues on the front straightaway in the championship stage at the Homestead Miami Speedway. Tony Stewart, a three-time champion. And it's not just the rain that's getting sprayed along with that championship trophy. That race for the championship and the race win tonight was so great. Let's just take a quick look through the final finishing results on the night. Point out some other great performances. Yeah, some great finishes. Jeff Gordon came back with a top five finish. And how about Martin Truex? Third place. Yeah, Jeff Burton with another top ten. A lot of momentum going into 2012 for him. Casey Kane caps off his tenure with Red Bull Racing for the top ten tonight in seventh spot. Yeah, Casey Kane's going to actually end up with probably the third most points of anybody in the chase behind our two, our first two. Yeah, Dylan Hart Jr. came back with a solid 11th place finish. I know he's looking for a little bit more than that, but not a bad night. Brad Keselowski, Kyle Busch having to make the late pit stops. And some of the drivers that went out early, like David Reagan and Marcos Ambrose with those engine fittings. <laughs> So, to the pit studio, Nicole, Rusty, and Brad, what a classic finish to a great championship. Absolutely unbelievable. Wow. Not just the way it was won, but how Tony Stewart did it. That incredible <laughs> drive that truly will be remembered for a very long time. Nicole, I don't think I've ever seen a driver drive that hard in my entire life. It was just a wonderful job out of Tony Stewart, but what about Carl Edwards? Those guys run the same lap time for 40 laps, bumper to bumper, and this thing's a tie when it's all done. I know there can only be one champion, but in my opinion, they were both champions today. Both gave championship efforts yes. without questions. Both of these teams are to be commended. Tony Stewart was just unbelievable today in what he had to accomplish, what he did accomplish. But Carl Edwards should be very, very proud of that race team he's got. Certainly was.
a fantastic effort at the end. Visit the NASCAR.com Superstore for the official Tony Stewart NASCAR Sprint Cup Series Championship merchandise. Shop now at NASCAR.com slash Superstore and join us in Daytona. For tickets, go to www.nascar.com slash tickets or call 1-866-GO-NASCAR. Up next, BCS Countdown presented by Discover. Congratulations once again to Tony Stewart. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports.